Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's great to see you guys back here. And today we're talking about DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna figure out how to make proxy files so that your video in your timeline runs smoothly and is easy to edit. So let's get into the video. So if you've been working in DaVinci Resolve for any length of time, you might have run into a problem where your video in the timeline is a little choppy. And when you play through your video, even say you're doing it at 24 frames a second, you'll notice that it's kind of glitchy and it doesn't all um, play smoothly. So one way around that is to create proxy files. What that is, is just a separate file that DaVinci creates that allows the video to run smoothly. It's kind of like a lower resolution file of your original file and DaVinci Resolve will use that to play through your timeline and to edit just to kind of speed up things so that you're not using as much of uh, your computer's resources to play the video and that will allow your video to play a lot smoother. So I wanted to do a little test with this too so I went out and I filmed some 4k footage with my 5d mark 4 which is notorious for coming out huge so I had a um, I don't know I don't even know if I have a minute worth of uh, footage and it was like eight and a half gigs so I figured we'd try the proxy files on here and see how it works in DaVinci Resolve. Can we get it to be smooth using the proxy files? So let's jump over to DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna check this out, try out these 4K footage files from the 5D Mark IV and see what we can do with them. So let's jump over to Resolve. Here we are over in DaVinci Resolve and I'm in the media tab. This is where I'm gonna grab my 4K footage that I shot with my 5D Mark IV. I'm gonna drag it down into my media pool here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all my clips and drag them down into my media pool. The clips have a different rate than the current project. I'm gonna say change so everything matches up here. Next, I'm gonna go over to the edit tab and let's just try out one of these files here. Now I know this last file is one of the bigger ones, so, or the biggest, and it's a total of, looks like it's 26 seconds. And this was a over one gig file coming out of the 5D Mark IV. So I just wanna play it and see how it plays. Let's try this here. Okay, so it's not too bad. Seems like it could be a little choppy. And if I grab another file here, we'll bring this down into the timeline. Let's try another one. And let's grab uh, one more file here and see how this one looks. So you can see it's a little choppy when it starts the playback there, right? So in order to make my proxy files, the first thing I want to do is come to File and come down to Project Settings. Now here's all our settings for this particular project and I wanna come down to the section called Optimize Media and Render Cache. So the first one here, I'm gonna leave that as automatic. The second Optimize Media Format, I'm actually gonna just change it to uh, ProRes 442 and we're gonna try that and see how it works. Same with Render Cache Format, I'm gonna go ProRes 422. Sorry, that first one was 422. So you're just gonna have to figure out which codec would work best for your machine. I'm on a Mac, so ProRes 422. Uh, any one of those should work good on my Mac. So I'm gonna use one of those, but if you're on a Windows machine, you're gonna have to use something different. Now I'm no expert on the codecs. I don't know the ins and outs of all of them. Um, so that's something you'll have to do a little research on to see what's gonna work best for you. In my case, I'm gonna use ProRes 422. So once I select those, I can then select Save. And now that I have that saved, I wanna come back to my uh, media tab here, and I'm just gonna select one of the files. I'm, I'm gonna use this one here. I'm gonna right click on it, and I wanna come over to this right here. It says generate optimized media. I'm gonna go ahead and select that, then resolve will optimize the media. And you wanna do that for all your files. It's gonna take a little while, so here I'll just select all mine right now, and I'm gonna go generate optimized media, and we'll be back in a few minutes when it's done. So real quick, while this is all loading up and processing, I did have somebody ask me, how can my video play smoother and not use all the resources on my machine? And the way to do that is through these proxy files. Now I'm no expert in the proxy files and how it works with Resolve. I just did some research to find out what would work best for me. So you have to figure out, you know, what codec and stuff would work best for you. But I'm just gonna share this tip and, uh, you know, show you how it works here on my Mac. My Mac's a 2015 MacBook Pro and um, you know, it should work out pretty good here. So just sharing these tips with you guys. So hopefully it'll help somebody out there too. And you know, you might have to tweak some settings and just figure out what will work best for you. But just wanted to share my experience here and what I found to work for me. All right, the proxy files are done being created. The next thing I wanna do is come back to my edit tab and you wanna come up to this menu on the top here. It says playback. You wanna make sure that use optimized media 
if available, is checked. So you just come here and you check that, and that's gonna make sure that you're using the optimized media. So now let's just try this clip. I know it was a little glitchy to start. Let's play it, and you can see it works out pretty good there. So no glitching there. I can scrub through the timeline, works out fine. Seems to be working out well, no glitchy. It's a little shaky there because I'm just hand holding and it's uh, not stabilized or anything yet. So we see that works out pretty good there. Drag down another clip and let's just try this out. And there's no glitch and it's playing through smoothly, looks good. And if I grab it and you know, you can scrub through, scrubs pretty quick. I got no problem scrubbing around. And again, these are using the 4K files out of the 5D Mark IV, which are huge and a pain to deal with. So you can see the proxy files are working out pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these clips together in just a little B-roll sequence and make sure it works out pretty good. But as you can see here, using the proxy files allow these big, massive 4K files to be workable in DaVinci Resolve on my 2015 MacBook Pro. So let's run that 4K B-roll clip and see how it all came together. So there we go, that's how you create optimized media or proxy files here in DaVinci Resolve. And that's gonna help your footage play smoothly in your timeline and allow you to scrub around and edit and not have any problems with your video. You can do this with any size footage that you have um, and then you should be okay to edit your video without any stuttering or glitching or anything like that. The last thing that you can try here in DaVinci Resolve, if things are running a little bit slow or a little glitchy, is you can come back to the playback menu, go to proxy mode, and you can select a different resolution for your footage to play at. You can do half resolution, quarter resolution. It's gonna change the, the quality of the video just while you're editing it. Generally, I usually leave this setting off, but you can use that and that will help also. Now, when you're going to finalize your project and DaVinci Resolve is gonna render out your footage, DaVinci Resolve will actually use your full resolution files. The proxy files or the optimized media, as DaVinci Resolve calls it, is really just for editing and viewing uh, in the program while you're working through your edit. But when it gets exported, it's gonna use those high, full high-res files to create your video. Hope this helps show you how you can create optimized media and proxy files here in DaVinci Resolve to help your footage run smoothly and help your editing hopefully go a little bit quicker. Worked out good here with our massive uh, 5D Mark IV 4K video files. So hopefully this will help you out if you're having a little trouble with your files and they're moving a little bit slow and a little bit glitchy. So if you're into photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing, consider subscribing to my channel. Try to release a new video every week and we'll see you in the next video. See all your smiling faces in the next one.